Hey everyone, this is Chris Crazy House back at it again on a Thursday night, drawing my butt off. Yes, hopefully you guys will join me this evening as we go down the rabbit hole into some conspiracy theories. And that's what I'm going to be drawing tonight, some alien conspiracy theories. For those people who know me personally, you know that I very much have been into conspiracy theories. And not as someone who is someone who gets over the top where I'm worried or looking over my shoulder or wearing a tinfoil hat. But I also I like it more for the creative part of it. So talking about, you know, bases on the moon or secret colonies on Saturn or, or on Jupiter or any of their moons, talking about alien overlords and the creation of man and how aliens helped to create humanity or talking about the greys and maybe the, the tall white aliens that have appeared here, some of the reptilians and just all that, the alien shapeshifters, everything you can think of. I've always enjoyed that. I've always enjoyed listening to conspiracy podcasts, whether it be Project Camelot or going all the way back to listen to the radio, like Art Bell, stuff like that. So I've always been into this type of, you know, subject. Jordan Maxwell, Michael Tassarion, all that good stuff. I've always been into listening to that. So I kind of wanted to do a little bit of drawings of your, your more typical alien conspiracies that you might find in these circles. And I'm going to be doing a a reptilian that's hidden under human skin. I'm going to be doing a, a alien gray, or at least my version of it. And I'm going to be doing a tall white alien as well. And for those who don't know, a lot of people who are not into conspiracy theories do not know what a tall white <laughs> is. So you have your, your hierarchies of different aliens that have visited Earth. And, you know, the typical one that you see are the grays. Those are the ones with the real bulbous heads and the gray skin and the big black eyes. Those are the ones that most people know about. But there's another hierarchy that supposedly is above the grays called the tall whites. And they look more like a mantis or something like that and are a lot more fearsome and scary. And some say are the, the real controllers and the leaders, the ones that like control your higher forms of government and the space program as well. But uh, like I said, you have to do your own research into those conspiracy theories because there's a lot of theories are around that. But that's where we're going to be drawing tonight, folks. I hope you'd like to join me. You can watch me draw them all together. I'm going to start out with the reptilians and the greys first. And you can watch me draw that and listen to the music. Or you can join in in the live chat for the discussion. As always, make sure you go ahead and like this video. Make sure you hit that like button before we get started. And we'll have an intermission in the middle, and I'll do the tall white at the end. So let's get started, folks, on some alien conspiracies tonight. Let's go.
So here we are, folks, at the interlude. These are my versions of these two tip typical alien conspiracies. You have starting out with the reptilian. I got for all my images, I'm drawing them first with pencil and in Sketchbook Pro. And then I go over them, I ink them in Adobe Animate. And then I go ahead and color them in Adobe Animate. Just a real simple vectorized coloring, though. Uh, but starting off here with the reptilian, you can see he's human on the outside. But once you peel that skin away, you can see the reptile underneath him. And for those who are children of the 80s, you might remember the TV show was called V for the Visitors. And that was the subplot of that series. There's a lot of allegory in that series as well, referring to our own human history. But basically it was these aliens who came to Earth and you think they are benevolent people who just want to share their technology and help Earth out. But it turns out they really are this very destructive reptilian race who is just coming to Earth so they can use humans as a food source. So they are here to consume us literally. And, you know, I think it was it revealed in one of the episodes where the one of the aliens got their skin torn off and you can see the reptile underneath them. So I've always really enjoyed this concept. People a lot of people say that this is where a lot of the royal families <laughs> in the world come from. So, you know, the Queen of England has always been portrayed or thought to be an actual reptilian. That's why she hasn't really aged that much and she's still alive while her contemporaries are all dead. And if you look at certain pictures of the the queen, you notice that she's outlived most of the US presidents out there. Also, uh, you know, certain people in higher forms of government or the media, there have been many speculations that they are also reptilians and that if you pause a video at a certain time, you can actually see them shape-shifting at that time. Uh, next is probably the most famous alien conspiracy of all time, and that is the gray. And you see that how I've designed him here, kind of with like a very slick type gray skin. I've seen it portrayed going all the way gray to all the way almost like a little bit more white with spots or whatever. But my version of the gray kind of looks like a, almost kind of like a little gremlin or whatever. And I've heard different speculations that the greys, either they're drones or they might be some extra dimensional imp that you can only see once you your mind has gone to a different frequency. I know that sounds weird, but like I said, I've been into this stuff for, for forever. So I've gotten I've gone that deep into the rabbit hole that greys are not necessarily aliens from another planet, but they're actually creatures from another dimension and you can only see them once your mind has been altered. Okay. So that that's and some people might even compare them to like fairies or gnomes or something like that, but this is actually what their true form is and what they actually are. And there's tons of stories about like people being abducted by these creatures, possibly. There's stories of people uh, having their crops manipulated or messed with or having their animals mutilated by these creatures. So I made mine look a little bit more sinister than you would think. There, there's stories about graves being benevolent as well. Now, there's not always scary and mean or whatever. They actually do impart knowledge, but I also have heard several stories about them being very violent and creepy. So I wanted to showcase my version of an alien gray here. So hopefully you guys have enjoyed what I've done so far. Next, I'm going to be doing the tall white in the last part of this video. But before I do that, let me go ahead and do my plug for my online store. To, uh, is, yeah, this week is going to be the last part, the last week for my online sale. So make sure you get in where you can and get my books, comic books, coloring books, and posters that are on sale now at my online store. Thank you so much to those who have paid and bought my products so far. I do appreciate you very much. And you... I hope that you enjoy your products as well. If you ever wanted to do like a review of any of my books or, you know, even just show a picture, you can do that and just email me the picture or, you know, hit me up on social media and, you know, tag me in the picture. All of my links for my social media will be in the description 
as well as the comments section of this video. So that way you can always find me on social media or you can just always go to my website at chriscrazyhouse.com and find my email and my social media there as well. So that's going to be the, uh, this is going to be the last week for the online store. So get in on the sale. But uh, obviously my store will always be there for you to buy products from me. Also, if you want to support the channel, go ahead and become a Patreon of Chris Crazy House, where I have exclusive coloring pages, I have exclusive clip art, and I have exclu exclusive art and animation lessons as well, <clears throat> excuse me, as well as uh, game assets that you can download. This month, I'm going to be down uploading some assets for if you're doing a game that takes place underground. So if you are if you have a game that takes place in the underground or in a cave or something like that, I will be uploading assets for that very soon, probably starting this weekend. And I will also upload my very first basic art lesson on that channel as well towards the end of August. So that will be the two big uploads for the Patreon this month as far as that goes. There's, there's going to be a lot of coloring pages as well. You might even see some of this artwork up there for you to color, to download, print, and color. But just want to let you know from the giddy up that the two big ones that's going to be uploaded are the the game assets for the cave as well as the art lesson. That will be the two big uploads this month on my Patreon. So make sure you go ahead and sub as soon as you can. So we'll get right back into this, folks. I'm going to play a quick ad for my store. And then we're going to jump right back into doing some alien conspiracies with the tall white. And I'll explain some more about that towards the end. Let's go.
right, all right. Here we are, guys. The final alien in my alien conspiracy art video for tonight. And that is the tall white. Now, obviously, I didn't make him all white. There are versions of it that are just all completely pale white. But I wanted to add a little bit more colors there so you can see some splotches and blotches on his skin, certain parts of his skin. You can also see some uh, purplish parts for some of his, uh, like under his eyes and on where his cheeks would be. And you can see some red parts kind of sticking out from underneath his skin as well, just to kind of give it a little bit more variety. So like I said, he wasn't just all white, because otherwise what would be the purpose of me sitting here coloring it if it wasn't going to be interesting all in one? And I think this actually looks a little bit more menacing and disturbing looking if you ever would to run into a creature like this. Like I said before, the tall whites are considered to be the, the higher class in the, the alien conspiracies. I've heard that they've infiltrated NASA and parts of the government as well. And, they, and they're the ones almost kind of like holding Earth hostage. <laughs> so for all the people that, you know, think that aliens have infiltrated our government, they're the ones that are running things. In fact, they, they are the ones basically saying that if Earth or anyone tries to get out of line, as far as opposing them, that they will not hesitate to destroy any type of government system or any type of resistance against the aliens here on Earth. That's that's what I heard anyway through the grapevine. So uh, they are more menacing looking. Like I said, they have more of like a mantis type look or a monstrous type look. And they're very tall and skinny, uh, very scary looking. Some of them have like long arms and claws and everything else. They're also extremely hard to kill. That's, like I said, this is all just the conspiracy theories I've heard about these creatures. So you'll have to validate or vouch for it. If you've seen one, go ahead, I guess, let me know in the comments section. Don't don't try to, maybe you want to encode it <laughs> if you're scared that these creatures have seen you and they know that you know. They might be following you around or maybe they sent some men in black with some dark shades after you as well. Who knows? They might get me tonight. But... But yeah, that, that's this is my my version of the tall white alien, I, and I hope you guys have enjoyed talking about these conspiracy theories and seeing me visualize them in a art form here. So, like I said, this is to me this is more creative fun. This is more for me to just expand my mind and expand my imagination. I don't really take a lot of this stuff seriously, but. On the other hand, I am not so so curious and so uh, I don't have a death wish to want to go into some government facility and find out either. I think it's, it's almost better if you don't know these sorts of things, right? <laughs> you won't, you'll never catch me trying to break into Area 51 or any government military base to find out if something like this actually exists. I have a healthy enough... Uh, I'm kind of skeptical about most of it, but I have a healthy enough understanding of it that, you know, maybe some things are just be best left unknown. You guys can talk about it in the comment section if you'd like. Let me know how you feel. If you like my renditions of these classic creatures and things that go bump in the night and things from outer space that we might not know about. And you guys can, you know, chat it up in the comment section. Just keep it civil. As that's all I ask if you want to talk about these things or discuss them. But uh, I hope you guys have enjoyed these these drawings. And make sure you go ahead and subscribe to my channel. So that way you can get all the information on my artwork and my art endeavors. And make sure you go ahead and like this video. Spread it around to those. Maybe you have some fellow conspiracy theorists out there who might enjoy this. And make sure you go ahead and uh, share all of my content with anyone who might just enjoy seeing someone do this type of artwork. I appreciate you all, and I will want you to have a safe weekend, and I hope to see you here next week, next Thursday, on Chris Crazy House Drawing My Butt Off. Anyway, guys, peace out.